It certainly does. And in the Evens Conference, you've got the Cantabs way out in front. Eight wins off nine. They're 41 points. But the rest, what a log jam. Two, three, four, and down to five. North Harbour, Auckland, Tasman, Northland. Just a sprinkling of points between them. Ben Afiaki, the North Harbour coach, facing Southland. 2.05 this coming Saturday. You watching that game yesterday, mate? Yes, I did. I did. It was a bit of a uh, dramatic finish, but um, Northland ended up coming away with the chocolate, so it's bloody good to see. All right, away to Southland, 2.05 Saturday. They busted the cherry. They broke their duck. They got a win on the weekend, but this is going to be a tough game, mate. They are the spoiling side, and they'll be out to do that. You know that. Yes, we've had a lot of history of Southland uh, spoiling, spoiling our side, so uh, the boys got a little bit of a a redemption uh, in their minds and they know they're not going to be an easy uh, rollover team so we're going to go down there and play. Ben, five wins, four losses. Where are you at? I mean, I look at the, the results. I've seen, you know, bits and pieces of most of your games. I think sometimes you just look as though you're one of the greatest teams in the comp. Other times I think, oh, the coaches must be in despair. Where, where, do, you, where do you sit with what you've seen so far this season? Yeah, I guess our team's got a bit of uh, a young pack and then some uh, in- inexperienced players. And then we've got a lot of, um, you know, experienced players at the same time. So... Uh, Harlan is probably trying to stack um, solid performances together. Um, we're still we're still trying to get there, and uh, it's, it's been a lot of learnings for the boys. And each week we try to chip away at them, and uh, I think we're getting some growth. So uh, we're looking forward for a, a solid solid performance from our our pack and, and our backline, and to combine them and then play as a team. So in terms of the points table and stuff like that, have you talked about that or are you putting that to one side and just go, look, we're looking at 80 minutes on Saturday. Let's take care of business and then wait and see. That's right. At the moment, it's, it's uh, Southland's in the way, I guess, of our, our, um, our, our quarterfinal. Uh, regardless if we're, we're in it or not, we've still got to do a job and then uh, them to get through. So uh, the challenge is to try to go get the boys to, to go down there and, and play well and, uh, and grow as a team. Uh, regardless of the, the playoffs. Look, I like the fact as well, I don't know whether you do, but I just think for the rest of us for neutrals, it's, there, 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 there is a smile factor on the fact that North Harbour, Auckland and Northland are all battling each other. I mean, so within the Blues rivalry, there is this rivalry. Ah, uh, there's always a rivalry there, mate, and it um, brings the best out of a lot, a lot of the, the players performing in the games, as you saw um, the, the Auckland-Northland game. A uh, bit of a historic win for them as well. Uh, in our game, there's plenty of cheek throughout the week and, and posted as well. So, um, you know, the, the three teams in the region are doing pretty well and uh, starting to put some, put some solid performances together and um, they can give each other cheek at the end of the day. So, at the end of the day, I think it's good for the region, but um, it's also a chance for, for boys to put their best foot forward heading into Super get selected in that. Ben Afiaki, North Harbour coach with us. Okay, so Hawks Bay play Tasman. Auckland have got Taranaki, Northland, Manawatu. Those are the fixtures. So at the start of the season, what were your, those are the fixtures for this last round, people, and then we get into the playoffs. What, what were your ambitions at the start of the season? Mate, for us, it was about getting a young group of players together uh, with some experience, especially in the back line and, and trying to grow. Um, for Harbour in the past, we I think I don't think we've had a quarter final, uh, especially one at home since uh, the, the early 2000s. So for us, it was about trying to grow a, a group of players and, and make them perform. Um, you know, for, from where they started in the season, performing better towards the end. And I think we're starting to do that and uh, put put together some solid performances at times. Now it's just about putting uh, 80 minutes on the field and trying to push players um, to be the best players they can be uh, on and off the field. Okay, so you know you've almost got two seasons happening, haven't you? Once this is out of the way, then playoff time, which is a completely different focus. That's right, mate. That's right. And uh, for our boys, a lot of them probably haven't played uh, finals footy, and um, the, the build up into it is, is, is similar to the finals. So uh, they're getting a bit of experience there, and then we've got some awesome leaders that kind of drive the the mindset that we're trying to trying to drive against oppositions and. Um, uh, so this is a good growth period for the for, the, for our team, and uh, they're enjoying it. Ben, I love what you're doing with Harbour, mate, because um, I went over and watched the um, the club semi-finals last year at Tacker, and I just know that you know club rugby's got a real big stronghold there, and people are really parochial there. But trying to transfer that into the you know the provincial franchise has always been a bit difficult. I think you're actually succeeding, mate. Well done. 
kids, mate, uh, we spent a lot of time trying to put uh, development into our our, um, our clubs, and there's a lot. Of, Jacko uh, does a lot of work within the clubs uh, during the super season, and um, our, our development team has showed that this year they've uh, the Vikings they um they they didn't they went through the season without winning a game, and a lot of those boys are in and out of our, our our environment as well. So uh, it's credit to the, all the people involved in that. How are you enjoying the coaching, mate? What kind of coach are you? I'm pretty relaxed, mate. I, uh, my, my main thing is to try to get the best out of the boys and build relationships with them. So uh, I enjoy building relationships and trying to give people opportunities. So, no, nah, I'm really enjoying it, mate. You're not a shouter or a screamer? You don't sound as though you are. Nah, I don't normally shout and scream. I leave that to, uh, to Jackie and Dan. Yep. Um, I'm more the cool, but, but relaxed, and uh, I'll just try to cover off the detail and, and get by from the boys through relationships. All right, well, big weekend this weekend. What we've done is touch base with all the teams throughout the season. So um, you were one of our, our final ones to, uh, to 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 get hold of. I appreciate your time, mate. All the best this weekend. Look forward to seeing you in the finals because I know you're making it. Cheers, mate. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Have a good one.